So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building Gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Hi everyone. Uh, as in my previous video, I've already discussed what is Creo AI and a basic example uh, for Creo AI for writing a blog. In this case, we'll be taking a step ahead and eventually going for product brainstorming using Creo AI. So in this case, there would be another change that I would be using Olama, which is quite famous known for running local LLMs. I have already covered uh, how Olama works and if you can check out the video in, a previous, uh, in my channel. Apart from that, let's get started. First of all, you need to pip install Creo AI and then eventually I would be using Langchain uh, for loading the Olama model. So basically you need to have Langchain also the latest version. Once you're done with this, do ensure that as you can see on my screen, your Olama instance is running. So how to run Olama, how to install it, do check it out from a previous video. Uh, once Olama instance is running and the model that you're mentioning here is, uh, is already downloaded. If it is not, then eventually it will take a lot of time because it will first download and then go for uh, inferencing. So do make sure that the model that you're mentioning in the first line, chat Olama model equals to Llama 2 is already loaded. In my case, it is already downloaded, hence it won't take that much of time. Now coming to how to do product brainstorming. So in this case, what I would be doing, I would be creating three unique agents. So if you haven't checked my previous video on Creo AI, Creo AI is basically a multi AI agent framework where you can create different personas using LLMs and then eventually throw a problem statement at them and they have, will have a discussion amongst themselves and will come out with a solution. So it's, it's a great product and eventually it can uh, help you save a lot of money. Uh, it can be taken as a virtual team for you, which can, uh, which is acting just based on an LLM. So in this case, the first agent that I'm creating is a product manager. I'm providing it a goal, such as product design for a given feature. You are a former engineer turned product manager who leverages her knack for innovation to lead product development. So this is a backstory that I'm trying to give. Allow delegation is false, verbose is true. And LLM equals to LLM. Allow delegation won't be true until and unless they would, there is a parameter called as process that we would be changing that I'm not discussing here right now. The second agent that I'm creating is a developer who will suggest technical structure for a given product design. Experienced software engineer with a proven track record of crafting robust and this is the backstory that I'm giving. And the third one is a project lead finalizing the final product and technical structure. CTO of the company has 20 years of experience. Now what we are trying to achieve here is first of all, I will be mentioning a product feature that I want to have for which the product manager will be coming out with some bullet points uh, that bullet points will uh, get forwarded to the developer. The developer will come out with a technical structure and finally the CTO, the project lead would be deciding or which features to consider and what can be cut short out to come out with the final uh, design for the product feature that I'm talking about. So here I'll be creating three tasks for three agents. The first task is product flow for adding new features, face recognition, login to XYZ app. So basically the problem statement is to have a product design for face recognition login in some XYZ app and the expected output is detailed bullet points. If you are not able to understand any of the flow, do refer to the previous uh, video on QA, which where I have explained the basic example. In the second example, you can see using the insights provided, decide the tech stack, estimated time for development and code flow. Again, short bullet points. Task three is using the insight provided in the previous two tasks. Decide the final report about the feature and technicalities. Remove features that aren't urgent. Now here you can see that the first task that I'm assigning for product flow, the agent is product manager. For the uh, deciding tech stack and estimate time, the agent is a developer. And third is a, the project lead. Now, as we did in the last example also, we will be calling out the Q function, mentioning all the agents and the tasks. And then we'll be calling out crew.kickoff. Now let's see the final output. So uh, going with the first task, the working agent is a product manager, as we have mentioned. And the starting task is product flow for adding a new feature, face recognition login. Now you can see that uh, in the green, uh, what is the thought process that is going behind? And then finally, we'll see the output by the product manager. The thought process, uh, the final detailed bullet points, the output comes out it user sign up process, face recognition setup, login process, security measures that are required, troubleshooting. So these are the five pointers that the product manager came out with. Now these five pointers will move on to the 
second agent that is the developer would be deciding over the tech stack estimated time for developer and code flow now these are the pointers that the uh, developer came out with user sign up process whatever the uh, feature that the product manager is uh, suggesting developer user friendly interface capturing their fa facial biometrics so it is more technical if you can understand the developer would be more technical he would be talking about the tech stack and eventually it hasn't mentioned about the timelines but it's uh, uh, the llm has mentioned but i think the llm that i'm using here is llama 2 well, this llama 2 7 million if we would have been used some more complex llm it might it would have it picked that up as well but in the details as you are reading you can see that the second agent is able to convert the verbal insights the product insights into technical uh, details now as you can see and comparing them with stored facial profiles it is talking about how this can be executed now going to the third agent project lead it would be taking the input from both and then it would be coming out with the final so to ensure the system is robust and secure i would uh, recommend implementing the following additional measures data privacy system monitoring user education system updates and here it has provided all the features key what would be the final things that would be going in user sign up process should look like this login process token based authentication and then these are the added features that the project lead has suggested so in this way this is very very interesting i think i have just gone with the baseline implementation and the prompt is also not not that well structured but if you're actually working on a real problem this can be very very handy and very very easy to use you just need to give a story the goal the back uh, the back story the goal and what are the tasks expected and eventually you see everything coming out beautifully as you saw here so this is how you can do product brainstorming using 3i with a number of agents